Hello people and welcome back, this is Matt here with another video of my PC. Just wanted to give you a little update of what I have done. Now, As we can see here, this is a video card. This is my GTX 770. And um, basically the cooling on it was pretty rubbish. Might have something to do with all this dust, but what I've done is to remove this, um, what is it, sort of plastic cover to make the card look nice. It's attached by these two screws, which you have to get from, focus, under the bottom there. But I couldn't do that without taking off the whole focus, without taking off this whole heatsink here. So instead, I just ripped it off, just like that. See, we've got the fans down here. These aren't going to be used anymore because I've gone ahead and bought some tube. Let you some be quiet fans, shadow wings. Really nice, actually. Um, they move a lot of air and aren't particularly loud like these. Basically, I'm going to vacuum all the dust off and mount those on there. Just get them, mount them on there like that. And then plug them into these two PWM fan splitters, which are plugged into the motherboard, of which I can control through the Gigabyte software. Now, if you'd like just to take a look at my card here, I'm not sure if this will work again, guys. I may have slightly bent the heatsink trying to rip it off. Um, as you can see there, that's not meant to be like that at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the vacuum, I'm going to mount the fans up, and we'll see if my PC explodes or not. Alright guys, and here we have it. Here is the ghetto rig. As you can see, this fan... Focus, piece of crap. Cable tie there, cable tie through that... The bent heatsink mesh right there. It's nice. And we got another one here which is wedged between this. This little metal bit here. And on that side as well. That's just wedged so that might fall off. Can't seem to find any cable tie. So let's go ahead and mount it up in there. It's a little bit thicker but I'm pretty sure these will make it a lot cooler. I've just vacuumed it. Even though you can see dust it never seems to completely go away. Let's mount it up and see if it still works. Alright guys, I've got the fans mounted on there. As we can see, there's an extra cable tie down there holding that one on. This one's held on by two cable ties. It's kind of a funny angle, but there we go. Everything is plugged in. we got them plugged in there. I moved this fan here. That is an airflow fan, and that is a static pressure fan. That moves more air, which is why it's at the bottom, to get the air up under here. And then through the video card. So, let's go ahead and test this, guys. Hang on, let me make sure it's turned on at the back. Will it work? Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. So you can see the fans are going there, guys. Moving a little slowly at the moment. Oh, we'll have to turn them up. Oh, yeah, a decent amount of air going through that fan. Okay, so it is. The video card is working. This is phenomenal. I'll check back when we get into the desktop. Alright, guys. Okay, so. You can see we've got the GPU temp there in the green. Let's just make sure you can see that. Now, because I ripped off the plastic shroud, that thing over there, I think I may have, I did see the heatsink move quite a bit. I think I may have moved it slightly too much. Because, as you'll see from this, look at that temp go up. Focus again. Look, look how fast that has gone up. 
and it will go to 80 which is the thermal limit there we go normally it does not get that hot that quick so it seems like I've uh, fucked it up but don't worry I have a spare 750 Ti which I will install and you might be like oh well that's a waste of a video card yeah maybe but I was planning on buying a new one anyway something with more than 2 gigs of memory but anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy this um, fail of ghetto rigging a GPU. Yeah, best not to mess with things, guys. That's the moral of the story.